Y'all see that? There he is. Oh, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. I don't know if that showed up on camera or not, but I saw him hit it, y'all. I saw him hit it. What is going on, y'all? Captain Jody, Bayou Bandit Charters. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. It'll help me out a lot, help my channel grow. Uh, today, we're gonna be targeting flounder. Uh, we have got 75 degree water temperature and we're at high tide right now it's going to be falling all afternoon all the way till dark uh it's early evening so uh we're going to get out here target some flounder see if we can put some in the box all right y'all first thing i cannot stress enough about flounder fishing is have your dip net ready have a good dip net that'll handle a good sized doormat flounder and use it flounder are notorious about throwing the hook when you get him above waterline if it's a small flounder you're not worried about losing him yeah by all means boat flip him but if she's a good one and you want her in a boat you better use the dip net tip number one do not leave home without it all right we've got a little bit of stained water it's not horrible it's not bad i can see that see that crab running off right down there on the bottom it's not horrible but i'm going with the uh fish bites dirty boxer i'll be using the counter punch color it's a chartreuse uh i really like that color in a little bit of stained water got that paired up with my hobo custom rod uh chris guy can hook y'all up if y'all are ever considering getting a custom rod uh check chris guy out on facebook with hobo custom rods the link will be in the description below uh excellent excellent rod i got him to custom make this one for me for targeting flounder it's a seven six medium fast action rod it's got the sensitivity i need to fill that bite and it's got the backbone for a good strong solid hook set and that's what you got to do on flounder you got to have a good strong solid hook set to go through that tough mouth of those flounder it's all bone in there and you want a good hook set uh and you need a good jig head that's sharp and to get the job done i use uh drake baits this is their swamp mullet jig head uh so enough talking let's get to fishing see if we can catch some of these flat fish Fish on, flounder, baby, flounder. Woo! Right there where he should have been, y'all. Right off that point. Right off that point. Yes, sir, yes, sir. He is not a stud, but he is gonna be a legal fish. Yes, sir. sitting on close your mouth 13 inches mississippi is 12 inches all right we're gonna let this guy go 13 inch fish legal mississippi flounder we're gonna let him grow let him go and let him grow thank you sir bye bye and i can't stress enough the importance of going slow when you're flounder fishing we're not burning up shoreline. We are going as slow as we can. Think about that cold, cold speckled trout winter bite. That's what you want to do when you're flounder fishing. You want to ease along that shoreline, throw parallel to that grass line, and just slowly, slowly work your bait back to the boat. That way your whole cast and retrieve 
is in that strike zone. Yeah, that last flounder, I boat flipped him because I knew he was small. And if he had gotten off, that would have been okay. But if it's a big girl, you better believe I will be getting that net. I will be using that net. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? There he is. Oh, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. I don't know if that showed up on camera or not, but I saw him hit it, y'all. I saw him hit it. Come on. There we go. All right, y'all. Flounder number two. Woo! I saw that flounder hit him, hit that bait. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera. Got a good, good quality flounder. He swallowed that thing, y'all. Man, he swallowed that fish bites. 16 inch fish, absolutely, absolutely swallowed it, y'all. No doubt about it. S completely swallowed that fish bites dirty boxer. Whew. Man alive. That is what I am talking about. Gone, son. All right. On the old dirty boxer, y'all. Shoot, yeah, y'all. 17 inch long flounder. Beautiful fish. He's going in the box. He is going in the box, y'all. Tickled to death about that one. Let's get some more. That was so awesome, guys. I really hope that shows up on the video footage because I felt that flounder hit it. I knew it was in his mouth, and I looked down, and I could see that fish. And I just set that hook, boy, and it was game on. I tell you what, I love, love flounder fishing. My favorite thing to do. And it is that time of the year, y'all. But like I was saying before, the key things to remember, have your net, have your net ready to get those flounder. You wanna throw parallel to the shoreline where your bait is constantly in that strike zone area and go slow. You cannot flounder fish too slow because you wanna thoroughly cover that ground man that was cool y'all whoo that got me pumped up and with these uh with these fish bites y'all you ain't got to set the hook immediately you feel that fish on the line you put a little side tension on the line and you feel him and you feel that weight then you set the hook now we're not waiting 10 15 20 seconds anything like that i'd say probably three to five seconds gives you time to feel that fish put a little side load on it you can feel him you can feel that weight you can feel that fish move a little bit and then bring her home son bring her home you want to you want to set that hook with some authority don't be playing around with him those flounders got a tough mouth a lot of bone and you want to drive that hook into that jaw. And then you got him, son. I didn't have to net that fish. He wasn't going to get off. But you never know with flounder. And you got to get a good hook set on them. If not, they will spit that hook every time. When they start coming out of the water, get on that surface of the water. All right, fish on, flounder, flounder baby, flounder baby, flounder number three, flounder number three, y'all, flounder number three, there we go, there we go. 
That's right. Another one that got swallowed, y'all. Tell you what, they cannot resist it. They cannot resist it. 14, 14 and a quarter inch fish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo. That's, ow. Stick your finger in his mouth again, Demi. Woo. Mm-mm. Mm. Man alive. Yes, sir. We are going to keep him. Oh, that hook was swallowed. It mixed up his gills. I don't know if he'll make it or not. But he is a good 14, 14 and a half inch flounder. Woo, we going to eat good, y'all in the box yes sir let's get us some more that was classic classic flounder bite he hit it in the shallow water and as soon as he hits it he grabs hold of that bait and he ran he ran right across going to deep water and that put a lot of slack in my line but i had a good hook set on him got him in the boat y'all man i love this Ain't nothing like flounder fishing. It is my favorite. I love winter trout fishing. I love my redfish. But ain't nothing, nothing gets my blood pumping like catching these flounder, y'all. And it's only going to get better. This is just early spring. And it's going to get better and better and better and better. What I do when I feel that flounder hit it, I stop my retrieve and I watch my line and I put a little side load on that line on that rod and if I feel him on there son you set the hook like there ain't no tomorrow all right fish on baby fish on another flounder no it ain't either oh that's a redfish <laughs> that ain't what I wanted Boy, pulling drag, y'all. Golly. Son, he's pulling drag. Good gosh. Man, these fish bites catch everything. Look at him, he's still pulling drag. Boy, these things, since this water temperature's warmed up, have gotten so aggressive. Oh, he ripped my fish bites off, y'all. Oh, don't go under the boat. Don't go under the boat. Come on, wear out. Wear out. Yeah, we'll be getting a net for him. For sure. There we go. Woo! Got a tank, y'all. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Man alive. What a beautiful redfish. Golly. Hooked right in the top of the mouth. Whew. And barely hooked too. Ripped my fish bites off. That bruiser is sitting on 25 and a half inches. That's bigger than I like to keep. So we're going to be letting that guy go, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful fish. We'll get him safely released back in the water to fight another day. We're going to get over here. 
we're gonna let this this big guy go to fight another day you tell me when you're ready boy come on you put up a good fight i know you got tired All right, y'all, we're fixing to wrap this one up. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope some of these tips will uh, help y'all be able to target and catch more flounder in the marsh system. Uh, if y'all enjoyed the video, y'all hit that like button. If y'all hadn't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It'll really help me out a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See y'all on the next one.